Hey everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to share something with you that I'm gonna be working on in March. I'm gonna be hosting on my channel a 21 item, 21 day declutter, where I'm gonna pick 21, I guess 21 spaces in my house, and I'm going to pick and declutter 21 items from those spaces. I probably will spend a couple of days in each room or each area, maybe decluttering 21 at a time. So th today I'm in my beauty room or my beauty space. I don't have a room, I got a space. But I wanted to share with you some of the things that I'm gonna be doing just in this space. The first thing I did was, I don't know if you can see over my, over my shoulder, I had a computer desk here and the computer desk worked for me. The only thing that was a little bit challenging was one uh, portion of the desk was higher than the other, so it wasn't equal across, and I didn't have any shelving. So with no shelving or drawers, it was, hey girl, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. So I didn't have anywhere to put things. So everything was on the top of my beauty table and that's a little distracting for me. Sometimes I like to sit here and just read my Bible, maybe have some coffee, maybe do my calendar or bills. This is not just for beauty. I do multiple things here, but not with all the stuff that's in my area. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to get rid of at least 21 items and I'm going to be storing and filling up the drawers as I go along. So come along with me. Now, I have had this metal, I don't exactly know where this came from or why I bought it, but I have had it for years. And right now it's just chocked full of stuff. I don't, I don't even remember half the stuff that's in here, but I'm going to get rid of some things. I do have in the top drawer a Walmart garbage bag. Actually looks like Food Line. And I'm going to just put items in there that I do not use. So let me see, I've got some sassy and chic foundation. I don't know if that exactly goes with my skin tone. I think it's a little bit light for me. So I'm going to put that to the side to get rid of. Um, let's see, everybody can use sanitizer, so we'll keep that. This is some hand cream, hmm. Okay, this is one thing I can get rid of as well. I don't know. Ooh. This is Time Wise, which is a Mary Kay face product. Let me think about this. That's a maybe, because I'm not sure. Um, another sanitizer. Let's see what this is. This is a liquid foundation. Now, when Mary Kay changed over from Mary Kay to MK Signature, I just couldn't wear their products because they um, broke out my skin. This is a ebony foundation which oh no this is a bronze but this bronze is a little dark for me so that's going to be an item that I'm going to toss that's two items in there let's see um I've got one of these little wristy things from a friend of mine when I was at um the um pinky promise conference last year I'm getting rid of that that's three items this is time wise liquid foundation this is a bronze too, let's see. This is a little bit lighter than the other bronze. So I think I'll keep that one. That first bronze was like really dark. I'm gonna keep that. Um, Always a Mom with the Asthmatic Sun Albuterol. Going to keep that, but relocate it to the medicine bucket. Hmm, let's go through. Okay, here we, here we have a um, eye pencil. It's in brown. I very rarely use the dark brown anymore. Um, I do use the black quite a bit. So that's another item that's going. So I've got four items so far. Let's see, some more foundations. Let me think, what you think? Give it to me, y'all. More me, more me. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Goodbye. That's five. This is just out of this one little thing. What in the world? This is another found, this is a bronze four. Let's see. That's probably a little bit more my color. Can't really tell. It's a little darker than the bronze too, so I'll keep that one. But I don't know why it's necessarily in that specific, um, in this bucket. And I don't know where I got these from. This is a bronze seven. This is too, too dark for me. So that's gonna be item number six that's gonna go. What I am gonna do is take one of these little red bins that I have in the drawer and I'm gonna put all the foundations that I plan to keep in here. And then I'm gonna just put this bin into 
the middle drawer of my beauty table because that's going to work for me. So I'm keeping a couple items. Let's see. I have another one that I'm going to put hand creams and sanitizers in because, you know, I can always use hand cream and sanitizer. And I put that in the very back. So we get into the short rows now. Here's a hair clip, but I don't have long hair anymore. So that's going. So let's see. That's five, six, seven, seven items. Here's another oil-free foundation for us oily chicks. So I'm going to keep that one. It's my color. Let's see what else I have. Awesome. Okay. And I really have zero reason to keep this. So I think I'm going to get rid of this as well. I can't remember why I have it or where I got it from. But it's serving no purpose right now. Maybe I could use it as a storage in this drawer. Let me see if it will fit. It will fit and the drawer will close. So for now, it's safe. But who knows so I've got six items that are going let's see I've got a small emery board I think I'll keep that um here is a hairpin that my daughter no longer uses so that's item number seven and I did find fingernail clippers which I will keep in this I have this little round um acrylic holder and I used to be able to put my pencils in there and I think I still might be able to put some pencils in there. So I've got a couple things that I probably can keep in here. But I'm going to for now put those um, clippers in there. And I think this may also fit in my drawer. So let's see. I've got two things of liquid wart remover. We must have warts quite a bit at our house. So I'm not sure. Let's see which one is the latest or the newest because whichever one is not new is going um, this is oh ooh, January 04 so that's going that's eight items and remember I'm getting rid of 21 items just from my beauty table let's see this is 09 those are both old so I'm gonna get rid of those as well so let's see where we are now. I've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items so far. Ten items. Um, one of my, my son gave me this lovely ring. Just waiting for the day my husband gives me a lovely ring when he shows up. So that's going. Goodbye. Eleven. Um, hmm. Okay. Fingernail polish. So I do have another one of the little. These trays I think came from Walmart. They come in probably three you get three for a dollar and the way this drawer is set up they all can fit in there so I am going to put um, some items in this little drawer this hair tie is broken so that's going that's 11 or 12 items I can't decide okay fingernail polishes and this is not even half of them this is just a few that I have I'm gonna keep the top coat because I do like to use a top coat and red is my favorite fingernail polish to use hmm sinful colors professional this is my older daughter so I don't think I'm gonna quite throw this out it is hers I'll keep it for her and that's another um, that can go into the drawer so remember what I did was I switched out the previous computer desk that I had here and I put in an actual desk desk with six drawers and I'm trying to get things off of the top of my beauty table so it's just beauty items okay um, this is get your glow on peeling off mask this is a brightening mask I have never used this I don't know exactly where I got it but it is papaya and citrus mm -hmm. so um, that's going to my sister maybe gave that to me I don't know for sure this oh, I know maybe I got it at the um, the lady swap you know you go and everybody brings their items they're not using anymore or gently used I think that's where I got it from this is Victoria's Secret gorgeous and I know for a fact that this is where I got this from it was at the swap I don't know what do we think if you use Victoria's Secret gorgeous let me know what you think about it for right now it's going in the in the pile uh, let's see oh this is midnight pomegranate this is just some hand lotion my my oldest daughter gave me this for 
Christmas on my Christmas Bath and Body Works. And I do like this. So I'm going to keep this lotion because she gave it to me. A couple other things I did find. Um, I've got some old shades that I don't really wear in this case. So they're going. That will be another item. I'm just keeping the items. I'm going to keep my old glasses just because the puppy has discovered how to get mama's new glasses. And if she breaks these, then I need to have a backup plan. So I'm going to keep these old glasses just right here in the top drawer of this beauty drawer. Um, okay, so let me count my items. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. I got 15 items, so only six more to go. And I still have quite a bit of stuff. Okay. Um, old hair ties. That's going to be item number 17. Okay. My sister, and I love her. I hope she's not watching this. Maybe she's not. My sister gave me this Moroccan hand cream. I don't know if anybody can see this. You probably can't. My lighting is bad. I'm sorry, y'all. Trust me. It says Moroccan hand cream. And it also has this Moroccan cleansing bar. If any of my friends would like it brand new, these have never been used, brand new beauty bar and hand cream, I just haven't used them. So if any of my friends would like this and you're in my area, let me know. I'll bring it to you. So this is going to be eighteen nineteen. Okay. I've got some more time-wise. This is Mary Kay again. And this is the nighttime solution. And it has those beauty beads in it. And sometimes I use this. I am now, I guess at 41 years old, I have to realize that I am aging. And my skin also is aging. So maybe... I need to utilize these items a little more. I have two of them. I'm going to probably keep these just for now and start to use them a little bit more um, at night when I do my, you know, just cleaning routine. As a general rule, I don't wear a lot of makeup except on Sundays, but um, I can cleanse anytime. So I think I'm going to keep these two items and I'm going to keep this one. Um, I'm keeping the, let's see if that will fit. I think it will fit and still close the drawer. Okay, so I got this lipstick. This is Wet n Wild. I really do love Wet n Wild. This is 536A Dark Wine. For some reason, I was trying to get the top on and I put it on too hard and it smushed the lipstick. I probably could wear it down and it would be okay, but not my fave. So that's going to be item number 20 and did I get rid of this I thought I got rid of the shades okay so that's item 20 here's an earring that I can't find the other match to so that'll be 21 I'm gonna keep these hairpins because we do use the hairpins every now and again let me see okay hmm y'all I don't know if I don't know if you have ever heard of this before but this is Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Sensual Black Current Vanilla Bath and Massage Oil. Can I just tell you this right here is life. And what I do is I use this after I get dressed. I shower and I'm doing my moisturizer. I just use a little bit of this in the skin. And it just smells so good. Like I still smell it. And I got dressed like at 8 o'clock this morning. So if you've never used these. Um, bath or massage oils I recommend it especially you married people like keep it spicy y'all um, us non-married people we just practice on the spice so this I recommend and it smells extremely good so I'm gonna keep this um, I find that you can just rub it in your hands you can rub it in your hair even if you don't want to put it in your skin or I have this um, I just use this like um, African Pride oil for my skin. If you just take a little bit of that sensual um, black currant vanilla oil and put a little dab in there because that oil smells good as well and just shake it up, you can spray it. It dilutes the smell a little bit if you're not into strong smells. But this is okay. Okay, personal item there. All righty. So these are gift card holders that I got from Dollar General. I think I paid a quarter for them, like after the sale, after the sale. My true question is, am I going to be able to keep this um, until 
Christmas of next year, of this year, but Christmas, 10 months from now. Do I want to keep this or not? I'm thinking it's not going to go in my beauty room. So a couple other things that I am going to get rid of. I have some earrings. These are just going to go in the closet where all my jewelry are. Um, I've got some rings here. Let me show you what I'm cleaning off here. Okay, I'll show you my beauty table. Let's see if I can just show you my beauty table or a little bit around it. Here we go. All right. So if you look, I just had a um, mirror. And then around the mirror, I just put um, Christmas lights. I got them on sale after the sale. Now, let me show you this mirror, right? Do you love the, you love the zebra, right? This used to be brown. It used to be a brown mirror. And I saw this was a Pinterest hack. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some zebra striped duct tape. And I zebra duct taped the entire mirror. So now I have a zebra striped mirror that used to be brown. And all I did was I just cut little pieces of strips. It probably took me 30 minutes, maybe. And I love the black and whites because everything in my bedroom is black, white, and probably um, pink. All right. So over here, another friend of mine gave, this is a Keurig coffee holder. Um, she gave this to me and I was using this just as a stand to create height on my beauty table, but this takes up so much room. So I'm actually going to take this back out to the garage and see if she would like to have it back. And if not, I'll donate it to somebody else that would love to have it because I don't use the Keurig machine. I'd rather just have coffee the old fashioned way. So this, is um, the 21 items that I'm going to be getting rid of today here on my beauty table. I'm going to keep going through these other few items, this warm vanilla sugar. That's one of my favorite. Um, it's one of my favorite hand lotions. And then the Japanese cherry blossom. I really do like that. I'm going to relocate these two things to my, um, inside of my closet because I do get dressed quite a bit in there. And then this right here is like a palette, a makeup palette. Um, from Victoria's Secret and I'll show you how that opens up so it opens up and I've got all of these um, eyeshadows and I've got these cream lips of course I'm only using like the couple that I love but I actually forget it's here and because I don't wear makeup as often you know I tend to overlook that so because I have a um, because the dresser that I'm using now has drawers I'm actually going to be able to put that into the drawer. So anywho, let me just do a little bit more cleaning here. Um, I'm going to put that in this top drawer. So I'll remember that it's in there. I also have these um, acrylic um, makeup holders that I got from, I ordered these from Amazon. I think they were like $3.99. And what I'm going to do is just put all, if I can get all of my lipsticks in one, I have three of these one is cracked and so if I'm not um, trying to figure out where my stuff is then I think that'll help me out better and actually as I'm looking now I can put this even in the short drawer and it will still close with the makeup standing on top so I'm at 21 items but I have a fat makeup uh, lipstick pencil that I got from the Dollar Tree that I have pretty much used just about out so that's going to be item 22 can't find the top for that anyway so out it goes um i don't have as many lipsticks oh, yes i do i have way more lipsticks than what i want you to probably see right now um in my tackle box i have a fisherman's tackle box that i got from either big k or walmart years ago when my daughter was 12 years ago 13 years ago when alana was about one years old because she was competing in beauty pageants and so I would put all of her beauty items in that tackle box and we would carry that wherever we went. And so I use that for her. Um, now I use it for my makeup because she doesn't compete anymore in pageants. So I think I'm going to take all of those. Okay, now I still have some items to figure out. So I've emptied out one of these, which is good. Uh, let's see. I've got two of the silver um, eyeshadows that I really like. I just wear these 
kind of on the top lash at the very bottom right above the lash line so I, they're both silver and then I have a blue one I think I got these from Chris they were a Christmas gift from my sister Heather I think so I'm gonna keep these but I have to figure out where I'm going to keep these because I don't want to keep them on the beauty table um I've got some more nail polish that's gonna go in the nail polish bucket that I'm keeping down here let's see all right the next thing I've got to try to get rid of is all of my brushes and I don't have to get rid of them maybe I just have to organize them more and I have more eyeliners and eye pencils than anybody I know and there's no rhyme or reason I only have two eyes however um, I just have a lot of them so I'm gonna go through and see what I can call I use these eco eco brushes not for any reason not because I'm eco-friendly I just found them they were on sale and I like them a lot so I just bought them um, but I do like them and I'm trying to get all of them in two of these little because if I get two of them in each of them then they won't wobble I've got my um, I use this if you have not used this before and some people make them bigger and I have another bigger one as well this is a stippling brush and you use this to put on your foundation so for me what I would do is I would take a little bit of my foundation this is not a beauty lesson at all but this is a cool brush and I would just put a little bit of my liquid foundation on just a little right right so I've got a little bit of product there and then I would just take my brush and I use it instead of using my hands right I'm probably gonna end up with half my face looking crazy but that's okay and I like this brush because I don't have to get my hands dirty and this is called a stippling brush so if you don't have one I would suggest it especially if you're not into the get your hands dirty situation which I don't like to get my hands dirty too much and then you can just blend it as much as you're needing to I think this is a cool um, brush so I do keep a stippling brush and I do have a larger one I have a really fat one too as well so anyway that's just a tip of the day if you're interested okay I've got two very small let's see this is dual act dual ended eyeliner one's black one's gray and this is very much used and this is very much used as well so they're gonna go into the trash pile I've got um, you know the top of well here's a broken top so I'm gonna get rid of that and swap out there we go now I've just saved a pencil I've saved a pencil using a different top and let's see oh here's another broken top this is an eyeliner that actually has a smudge brush on the end so I do like using the smudge brush so you know if you're cut because I like to do smoky eye so if I'm kind of going in with my black and I just want to smudge a little bit that's what the end of this brush is for so I'm gonna keep this one even though my top is broke I have to fix that as well but I'm gonna keep that one I'm keeping this one and then the last couple things that I'm gonna talk about here really quickly so I can be done is um, I've got a well I had a brow brush that fell down but this is my you know for eyebrows you just want to corral the brows gotta go see Miss Lee this week to get those brows done but I use this quite often when I'm defining brows and then I also have non-traditional colored lip liners now normally when you see me I'm wearing black that's the favorite of mine I do wear a dark brown but there are times when I like to wear the red and purple mixed together it's a combo deal for me and they're a couple of my favorites so I am going to keep those in here as well I do also like pink if you can't tell this is an ultra sheer from Ulta I do find that Ulta lip glosses are very very nice I like their quality and I do wear them quite often so here it is here we have it I have pretty much cleaned off the top of my beauty table I have collected 22 plus items 
Here are the items that I'm getting rid of, the 20 some odd items that I'm getting rid of. Some things were little things, some things were bigger things. I'm keeping my, my buckets here. But some things were bigger, some things were little, some things I'm just not using or have never used. I'm not real sure if I like this fragrance. I got it at a, um, a lady swap, so I'm gonna not keep that. These two items here, I'm gonna transfer into my closet. I think everybody should always have floss somewhere near because you never know. You might need that, so that will go into the top, top drawer. And then I'm going to either give back the Keurig holder or gift that to someone else who would love it because I'm just not loving it at the moment. Um, so that's how I'm going to work that. And I'm going to take my items here, go into my Walmart bag or my food line bag. So 20, one, two, and then here's an extra one because I think that this eyeliner might be a little bit nasty. So maybe it's not, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try it later and see. But all of those items are going, all of those items into the garbage bag. I've got some extra um, trays that I'll use in another part of the desk. So I'll set that over here for just now. Um, here's an extra beauty tray that I won't be using. Let's see what's in here since I'm on the table. I mean, oh, this is pretty. I think that this is sister's. I don't think that's mama's. That's Alana's, her little beauty um, that she got from Aunt Vicky. Now, so here's what my beauty table is going to look like right now. If I take out all my trash, which I'm closing that drawer, actually I'm going to put... Um, my acrylics that I'm not using and then I've got a couple of the eyeshadows that I think I will use at some point in here and then I'm going to take my beauty brushes and I'm going to sit them on this side of my beauty table and then I've got my pencil sharpener for my eyeliners that I use quite frequently I'll take your drawer level and let you see what the drawer looks like there's my drawer. So I've got in the drawer just my foundations. I've got that one little um, silver thing that just has the body oil and the, then I've got these pencils. I'm not sure if that'll close. I may have to put that in the bottom. Drawer. And then I just have um, nail polish sanitizers. So that's, and then here's a, a picture or of what's left of the beauty table now that I have everything off of it so there's there's nothing else there with the exception of my earrings that will have to go into my closet which I'll get Bubba to put those in there thank you so much lovely and then I was just using that as a stand my beauty table all totally clear I'm totally happy with the results of it so I'm gonna be doing 21 item declutter from 21 places in my home there's still quite a bit of things to be done. I'm moving this desk right here into my son's room. So we'll go in his room and declutter with 21 items. I'm not real sure what all he has in there because I try not to go in there too often because he will live the minimalist life if I, if I go in there. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you find an area where you can declutter 21 things and live just a life less cluttered anyway thank you for joining us until next time we either organize or do our makeup or cook or whatever it is we're doing bye